Hey guys, it's Sofia and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you guys may already know by the title, um, today's video is about me, so you guys can get to know me better so most of you guys been following me for quite a long time but if you guys are new followers thank you for clicking on this video and uh, I really appreciate it so in today's video there's a really really special person that is in here which like means a lot to me and like it's really close to my heart and uh, she's gonna help me with this video so I would love to introduce you to you Bakri so Bakri is gonna help me with this video Okay guys, I'm just kidding, just joking Bakri is important too, but there's someone impo more important than her So in today's video, my best friend Hafsa Ahmed Say hi! Hi! So she's gonna help me film this video because she's gonna read out like 30 questions uh, about me Which I'm gonna answer quickly because I don't want to bore you guys and make this video long You already have <laughs> my introductions are always so long oh my God. sorry guys I don't want to annoy you more but before we get into the video I would love I would really appreciate if you guys click on the subscribe button and already like this video because why not you're already there yeah and then leave a comment down below saying hi and your name and where you're from um, so we can get to know each other and yeah so I'll just quickly get into the video <laughs> So the first question is, what's your name? Uh, so guys, everyone knows me as Sophia, but my real name is Arshdeep. And how old are you? I just turned 21 years old. Where are you from? I'm from, um, it's a complicated, so I'm from Italy, but with Indian, uh, with Punjabi origins. So my, both of my parents are Punjabi. Uh, I'm born and raised in Italy. Where in Italy? Um, Vicenza, in the old area, near like Venice, just an hour from Venice. Mm -hmm. And what's your star sign? My star sign is a Sagittarius. Um, do you think your personality matches your star sign? Definitely does, like, definitely does. Um, for example, like, my star, my star sign always says that uh, I'm a person that really, like, is enthusiastic about loads of things, like, wants to do loads of things in one go, but never do it never finish it finish them which is me like i want to do so much i want to do youtube i want to do uni i want to do work and like i want to do so many things but i can't even finish one properly so yeah okay so what's the quote you live by yolo guys you only live once that's my quote um where do you see yourself in 10 years time i see myself um I definitely will be financially stable like I would not be worrying about oh what if something come happens and I need money so I'll have lots of money saved I definitely have bought a house and gifted it to my parents by then um, and travel a lot like I've already traveled like around 30 countries hopefully mm. and uh, yeah, I'll be doing good at oh, and I'll be support like I'll be supporting like an organization or working with someone like Casa Aids to help uh, people that needs help. Oh. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live and why? So this is like I would live everywhere. Literally, that was that's my goal. But if I had to choose a country, it has to be Italy, um, just because I'm born and raised there. I love the culture there and. Uh, yeah, it's a, such a nice country. You just get to like, it's such a nice country. I, you should go. It's beautiful. Um, what's your dream job? Okay, my dream job is anything in front of the camera. So since a young age, I didn't know this. Like I knew this, but I wasn't that sure. I, I, I was really shy kid. But I know that anything that is in front of the camera, like. Oh, I would love to do a cooking show. I would love to do like pre representing any like any channels and stuff. So like anything that is in front of a camera where I have to speak or like I'm a center of attraction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And what's one thing that you can't live without? Um. Uh, <laughs> you know. You naughty naughty. You teasing me. You naughty naughty. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I can't live up without is uh, 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know how to say it to you guys, but yeah. <laughs> We're keeping it PG. Yeah. Um, oh shit. I don't know. Yeah, there's one thing. Um, definitely. My parents. I. How about me? Yeah, parent, family, and friends. I mean, like if they are not around, that'd be it'd be so hard for me. Like I would, I'll think about moving, but just because of my friends and family, I don't want to. I mm. think about like I don't want to leave them. So yeah, especially the group I found in UK. Okay, um, what's your idea of a dream date? Okay, um, my idea for a dream date, it has to be like anything. I'm like really, I don't want something like bougie and like really big. Like that will happen with the time. How the first date has to be something that he has planned. Like he wants to like, he has, it can be also drive through to McDonald's. But the time that we're spending together has to be like really good. Like we're having like, a good time getting to know each other properly. And like he he's like passionate about me. It's not like oh he's getting texts by his mates and he's answering them or like he's just on his phone. He's not putting effort with me. So it's something like um, first date is something where I wanna assess the, his mindset and like what kind of person he is. Is a nice person or just like you know? So yeah, it's something that he plans, but he has to be simple. Like where we are close, but yeah, it can be a walk to a park. Like I don't mind that anything, but that is sweet and simple. Okay, um, what's your most memorable childhood memory? Um, I don't know, oh, there's many, but like I was really excited when I finally got to be a Mata, like in a Jagrata. So, uh, Jagrata is like Hindu people do this, uh, it's um, I don't know how to explain, okay. So if you guys can search online, <laughs> use uh, Google, but basically Jagrata is something, um, like religious, a religious event that uh, Hindu people do, um, and where like kids usually get to be, um, like, because they say like kids get to dress like a god, because uh, as you guys know, there's so many gods in Hindu culture. I'm really sorry, I don't want to offend anyone, but like I don't know. I'm like I'm Sikh, but like we do. Um, I have half a family that is Hindu too, so. Yeah, uh, so I got to dress as a Mata and I was so guest. That's the funniest moment. Do you do that? Okay, um, what's one thing that your parents taught you that you live by? Um, I live by like, um, so my parents taught me uh, to never, like to appreciate what you have right now and like don't show it off because you don't know when it's gonna go. Like for example, if today I'm able to, like I'm able to buy something that costs like hundred pound maybe one day I won't be so it's no I shouldn't be bragging about it and just be grounded be like a grounded person like appreciate whatever I have and like never look at someone and be like oh that they that person doesn't have that so yeah just be a good person that's what they tell me and I live by that okay. um do you have any bad habits uh the list goes on and on and on She's always late, always sleeping. What else? I'm a bad man. <laughs> There's not one guy who's like, everyone has bad habits, but like, yeah, as she said, I'm late. One of bad habits is also that. Oh yeah, like I don't answer people's messages. Oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's so bad, but even if I try, like I just can't. I'm She's just... always on her phone, See, but she never I'm managed. not. Like, I just like, I have a really busy life. <laughs> what, what do you Deal with it. People's <laughs> TikToks. Shut up. Don't expose me. <laughs> okay. Um, who's your celebrity crush? Uh, it has to be uh, that too. So, in a mixture, like, I want Ricky Croshan's eyes and his hairstyle. And uh, Arjun Rambo's jeans. <laughs> he's all <whole>, guys. <laughs> So what are your favourite values in friends? So like what do you look for in a friend? Um obviously like if you're my like I'm a really friendly person so like if you meet me you definitely you I consider you my friend but like my main main friends are like really close ones. I love how they are like they're thoughtful like me, like they're really like they encourage me to do things like 
YouTube, my friends encouraged me so much since they they are my biggest supporters and I love that. And like I never got like I had friends before as well, but since uni I found friends that like they're always there for me and like they're always like supporting me with anything. And not gonna lie, they've been pushing me to do more YouTube, but like we like do this, do this. They always support me, they always comment on my stuff and like just make me feel loved. That's the thing that I love about my friends. Okay, so what does your last text message say and who was it from? I don't know. Where's your phone? It's filming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my last... My, did you text me? No. No, I haven't messaged you too. Okay, so my... Oh, it was from Saloni. Hello, heart. Oh yeah. So last uh, message was from Saloni in a group chat. Like she's a lovely girl, and Shout she out sent to that. Saloni. And she sent a love heart. That's kind of boring. I thought it'd be a bit more juicy. Okay, uh, the message before it, it was like <laughs> someone was like threatening me to send him them their TikTok and ask them to oh ask nicely and they'd be like fuck off just say it, send it. Okay, um, what's one family tradition you want to have with your future family? So, I would like love them to like, I want us to pray together. Like, I would like to do it every evening with them, like with all my ki kids or family, like my husband and sit down, just pray even for like five minutes, just uh, be grounded, uh, meditate and like, um, thank God. But if that's not possible daily, at least once a week, it has to happen. Like it probably has to be a Sunday. Yeah. yeah. And also go to Gurdwara every Sunday. I can't wait to do that. <laughs> okay, if you could do one last thing, what would it be? Oh, uh, it, it has to be like, um, I go say bye properly to every my, like all of my friends and family, like the most close one, and go and like hug them and like say bye properly. Mm. Okay, so if you were another person, would you be friends with yourself? why not guys like have you seen me <laughs> my oh my god would you be my friend you are am i your friend oh yeah <laughs> i mean yeah of course i would be why not people like be like sophia you're the best friend we can have i was like yeah, yeah especially mind. when she doesn't answer my messages can we not talk about phone calls? <laughs> i paid you <laughs> <laughs> be nice <laughs> okay okay what's the first thing you notice about people uh, the way they look at me and their smile, like if they have a smiley face or not. Because if their face is not approachable, I'll be like, oh. like me. Yeah, she. I thought she was a bitch, man. <laughs> Sorry, I sh should. Can I? Mom, what one? gives you the ick? Um. <laughs> So depend depend in relationship you mean like if I'm seeing someone yeah seeing someone like yeah. relationship uh, just in general I hate when like. someone's like overconfident hmm. uh, because they remind me of someone <laughs> <laughs> so someone's overconfident and they think like they don't but like they don't have something for example they're not tall but they <laughs> act like big mans yeah so yeah that hates I that's one of the things I like what's one thing on your bucket list um oh yeah shit <laughs> traveling <laughs> travel to paris okay okay that's sorry guys sorry <laughs> if you were you were wearing headphones i'm really sorry but... guys you wore that paris top on purpose yeah i did <laughs> i'm not gonna lie like, oh yeah can i say paris. okay hugs or kisses hugs i love hugs and what's the what's one thing you've learned whilst being at uni um I've learned so many, but one of them has to be um, being independent and I mm. love myself, love myself the way I am and being independent. Okay, what's your biggest fear? Dogs. Oh, same. They are so, they are, they're cute from far. As soon as they come close, I don't know what run. And rats. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god rats. Rats, no, rats. She literally starts pinching people when she sees rats. I just had to, I can't. Oh, 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 they're disgusting. Rats and, especially the rats in England, they eat so much, they're fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
I'm joking. They eat fast food as well. <laughs> well that's where they're outside Benny's. <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> Guys, it's so like I saw rats in Italy. They were like small, small, small. Why well, you scared of rats in Italy? Yeah, but not as much because they're more scary here. Oh, okay, first. Okay, what's something you regret? many things I regret. I, I'm even regretting making this video, but let's not talk about this. Um, I regret... First year antics. I regret... I regret growing up quickly. I wish mm -hmm. like I had the, the innocence like for longer. Instead of like a certain age, new, newing too much stuff. Is, yeah. new, is that a word? New. Knowing. No, yeah, knowing. Knowing. Okay, um, how would you describe yourself to a blind person? Panda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so definitely, um, panda because, um... No! Yeah. Stop being me! No, because I'm like, cool, cute like a panda. <laughs> Panda, um, I'm, I'm, I'm in fat. I just it's a Stop good way, and then I ha I don't sleep a lot, so I don't have lots of. Um, no, she does sleep a lot. She just sleeps at bad hours. Yeah, I don't sleep. <laughs> like if I sleep, I sleep a lot. Otherwise, I don't sleep. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's your favorite feature and something you change about yourself? My favorite feature has been like my smile, probably smile, mm. or your eyes, and my eyes. Yeah. yeah. And what would I change? Uh, my body type. I don't like the body type I have. Like I would have, I would like to have some things but more and some things less. <laughs> you know, you know. Okay, what keeps you up at night? My f <laughs> so it has to be. It's like Netflix and uh, YouTube and also like insomnia. Like I can't sleep in the night anyway. So yeah. And the last question is, what makes you different to others? So like, how are you unique, unique to others? Okay, what makes I, you unique? I believe everyone has different aspects to them that makes them unique. Like probably there's other girls that have similar things to me. But one of the things that I think makes me unique from the people that are around me is my energy level. Like, all, uh, it's the best compliment I always get that my energy is really good. Lots of my friends always tell me that oh, whenever I come in a group, it's like lively and I'm really, like really happy and like really happy soul and all this happy and stuff. That's why. Yeah, I think I'm confirmed. So I think uh, my best as for oh, what makes me this? So I think that the thing that makes me different is my energy level, mm -hmm. like my positive energy. Yeah. And that's all the questions for you, Sophia. Thank you so much for answering our 30 questions, Sophia. It was nice getting to know you and... It was a pleasure for my side too. And we hope to see you soon. See you soon too. Bye! Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had so much fun making this video. Um, so now that we're at the end, you know what you have to do if you have already not done it. Go like, 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 like this video and subscribe. Block, 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 block. <laughs> not block, guys. Like, <laughs> like, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell because I'm posting more regularly. Um, if you haven't already not seen my short videos, just go see them too because they're fun. Like, this is not TikToks, but just appreciate, like, appreciate my effort to <laughs> to be a YouTuber. Um, Follow me on my social media. My Instagram is sophia.bassi. Uh, it's private right now, uh, but I'll make it public soon. Uh, but oh, oh, until you can follow me on TikTok, sophia.bassi with two eyes at the end. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I had so much fun filming this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.